We'll talk about division of fraction. It's a, it's a topic that's addressed in middle grades, in grade 5 at times. Uh, at the same time, we see many college level students truly don't understand what, what we mean by division of fractions. And I'm going to ask you a question and see if you understand what it means. So I know most of you know how to divide 3 fourths by 1 fourth. And you would tell me, yeah, I know how to do it, and the answer will be 3. Fine. But I want you to construct a word problem that will involve this as its solution. So you have to give me a real world contextual word problem that will involve the problem solver, that will ask the problem solver to essentially divide three fourths by one fourth. And you probably want to pause the video and come up with your word problem. Okay. Now, I work with college level students and I have seen oftentimes that many, many college level students and ones that I have encountered have a very difficult time coming up with a very accurate, precise word problem that will have three fourths divided by one fourth as its solution. Here is one example that one can use. Three fourths of a, if I, I have three fourths of a whole pizza in my fridge, I would like to serve each of my friends one fourth of a whole pizza. How many friends can I serve? Well, I have this is what I have in my fridge three fourths, one fourth, two fourths, three fourths. I want to give each friend a quarter of a pizza. How many friends I can serve? One friend, two friends, three friends. So the answer is three, and you can one way to get it is do it, do it pictorially. Another way is to divide three fourths by one fourth. Now, if you came up with a word problem, good for you. But let's go on and see if we can try to understand what we mean by division of fractions. Okay, the algorithm for dividing three-fourths by one-fourth is very simple and most of our, us are familiar with it. Informally, we say flip and multiply. And by that, formally, we mean take your three-fourths, multiply three-fourths by the reciprocal of one-fourth, which happens to be four over one, and when you multiply three fourths by four over one, you're going to get three over one because you can cancel four and four and the answer is three. Everybody knows that, but why do we struggle coming up with a word problem? We know what division means, we know what three fourths and one fourth mean, then why do we struggle? Now one explanation could be that we may know what fractions mean, these fractions mean, and we know what division means, but we quite don't understand what division of fractions mean. So, before we get to understand one meaning or one interpretation of division of fractions, let's try to understand what we mean by division of whole numbers. Let's say I'm trying to divide 12 by 3. That tells me that asks me how many times 3 goes into 12. And the answer is 3 goes into 12 once, twice, 3 times, 4 times. So 12 divided by 3 is 4. Once again, 12 divided by 3 is 4 because 3 goes into 12 4 times. So basically we are asking how many times the divisor goes into the dividend. Recall this number is the divisor, this is the dividend. Uh, you can call it the numerator and the denominator if you want, but it gets a little confusing when you're working with fractions because you have two, two numerators and two denominators. So this meaning of division is called the measurement interpretation of division. There is another one called partitive. Partitive would be something like this. I'm going to go back. Okay, so the partitive meaning of division would mean if I take 12 and divide it into three groups, how many items would be in each group? One group, two groups, and three groups, sorry. I lost that little black dot, so the answer will be four. Same answer, but two interpretations. But that's enough. We're going to use the measurement interpretation of division here in this problem. Well, let's go back and review the measurement interpretation once again. Three, 12 divided by 3 means how many times 3 goes into 12? Once, twice, three times, four times. 
And the answer is 4. Well, let's see if we can solve a division problem, a uh, division of fractions. So let's say I have half divided by 1 fourth. So I'm going to choose a whole that will allow me to express half and fourth conveniently. And I chose 4 by 2, a 4 by 2 rectangle. And if this is my whole, this would be my half, green shaded area. And I'm, if this is my whole, a quarter would be the blue shaded area right here. Remember the measurement interpretation of division? That tells me, basically that asks me how many times the divisor goes into the dividend. Well, the divisor is this, the dividend is this. How many times this goes into this? Well, this goes into this once, twice. So the answer is two. Okay, let's let's look at one more example. All right, how many times one sixth goes into two thirds? I'm going to take a three by six rectangle for my whole. Uh, based on the two denominators and I'm going to shade two-thirds. This is one-third, this is another one-third. I shaded two-thirds of my whole. That represents two-thirds. And I also shaded one-sixth of a similar whole. One-sixth is one-sixth, two-sixth, three-sixth, four-sixth, five-sixth, six-sixth. That makes sense that this is one-sixth. Now I'm asking how many times this goes into this how many times the divisor one six goes into the dividend two thirds? The answer is once, twice, three times, four times. So the answer is four. Let's look at one more example. Okay, this is interesting. This time I'm asking how many times one fourth goes into two thirds? I'm going to start with the three by four hole I'm going to shade in two-thirds, one-third, two-thirds, three-thirds. Using the same hole, I'm going to shade in one-fourth. So the blue shading represents one-fourth, and the green shading represents two-thirds. I'm asking how many times the blue shading goes into the green shading. In other words, how many of the blue patches do I need to cover the green patch? Well, I need one entire blue patch will cover this. Another blue patch will cover this and then I need two-thirds of the blue patch to cover this. So the answer is two whole and two-thirds. So the blue patch goes into the screen patch two whole times and two-thirds of a time. So let's look at one more example. this time what I have here is one-third divided by one-fourth. I'm going to take a three by four rectangle to represent my whole. I'm going to shade one-third. I'm going to take another two by three rectangle, uh, three by four rectangle to represent my whole. I'm going to shade in one-fourth. This is one-third. This is one-fourth. The measurement meaning of division tells me how many times the divisor one-fourth goes into the dividend one-third. The blue patch goes into the green patch one time, clearly. And then one third of the blue patch will fit here. Only one third. One third of this will go in here. So the answer is one and one third. Okay. I'm going to show you one more example. getting a little repetitive. I hope you do understand what, what's going on. I had a bunch of examples. I think I'm going to do one more time. This is the last example we're going to share with you. Two-thirds divided by one-fifth. I start with a three by five hole. I take two of them. I shade in two-thirds, one-third, two-thirds of this hole, three by five. Then I shade in one-fifth. I'm asking how many times one-fifth goes into two-thirds. That means how many times 
the blue how many blue patches do I need to cover this green patch I need one hole two holes and another one so I need three at least plus there is one left I only need one third of the blue patch so I need three hole and a third of the blue patch to cover my green so the answer is three one third now this does not explain why the algorithm informally known as flip and multiply is valid but it does provide a context and meaning to to division of fractions and there you can use algebra to explain why the division of a uh, fraction is a valid algorithm but this is about the meaning of division of fractions so how many times the denominator goes into the numerator again this is just the measurement interpretation of division of fractions there is another one called partitive and we didn't address it here we'll try to address it another time